I am Dr. Prem Kumar. I am a consultant urologist and a renal transplant surgeon at Fortis Group of Hospitals, Bangalore. Today I will speak to you about uh, renal stones. See, there has been a concept of having a renal stone formed by stones which we eat. But to be very frank, the stones were formed inside the urine because of a concentration in the urine, because of the crystal concentrations. So uh, the stones can form inside the urine and they can cause symptoms based on their location, their strength, their identification is a, the structure of the stones also. So patient can be or a completely asymptomatic if the stones are inside the kidney, but they may not cause any symptoms because they don't, don't, don't block, they don't press, they don't cause any scratches. When the stone comes down to a tube through which the urine has to get transmitted, uh, traveled into the bladder, they cause a spasm in the urine tube and that can cause pain, which means severe excruciating pain, excruciating pain that we call it as urinal, renal colic. And this renal colic, uh, we usually come across may most of the patients with renal stones with this. Uh, the, and the stones can come down to the bladder as, as well, causing irritation in the bladder, causing flow problems in the urine, can cause burning and pain while passing urine as well. So the, the, the treatment of these stones, what uh, can be planned are depending on the location as I said. If they are very strong stones and located inside the kidney, there are techniques of treating these stones by a technique of going through the skin into the kidney and breaking the stone which we call it as PCNL. There are techniques where the stones can be blasted using sound waves which directly go onto the stone, break it into small powder and these powders they pass on to the normal passage of urine. There are latest techniques through which where we put an endoscope into the urinary passage, go into the kidney, identify the stones and break the stones using a laser technique. Tubes, the stones inside the urinary tube, they can also be handled with urinary uh, telescopes. Stones inside the bladder can also be handled with the telescopes. So, uh, we, we, with the recent technology, what we have, stones are majoritarily managing, managed with uh, non-invasive and minimally invasive techniques. Uh, don't depend on uh, symptoms to come to diagnose a renal stone. Get a regular checkup by a form in the form of an ultrasound scan or an X-ray. But ideally speaking, for a stones to be diagnosed properly, CT scan is the ideal thing. But ultrasound gang can give us an idea about whether the stones are possibly there or not. So keep getting a routine checkup done. Meet your urologist regularly, and if there is a problem, please come to us.